If you've been watching anything I've been doing over the last couple of years, you'll probably be familiar with the custom angle mount that I made. This is to tilt the stick sideways so that it's more natural for space sim type controls. In the time since I've made my own adapter, manufacturers like Verpal and VKB have made their own products in order to tilt a stick like this. While I wasn't the first person to come up with the idea of tilting a stick, I like to think I helped popularize the idea. So while I was busy filming some material for an updated look at the sim pit, I noticed that there was a little bit of extra play in the custom mount that I had created. And after about nearly three years of service, the mount that I had cobbled together has ended up breaking. Considering that I had basically cobbled this together as a proof of concept back then, and it's lasted all the way until now, I'd say it's been an overall success. Not only in terms of my own setup, but also in terms of getting the idea out there for other people to use. So, with that in mind, where do we go from here? One obvious idea would be to buy one of the new angle mounts and set it up in the pit. Another idea, however, is simply recreating the mount that I already made with a thicker bracket this time. It's pretty straightforward, and at least that way it will get me through until I can get something maybe more permanent set up. But, like I said, considering it's lasted almost three years, I think that's pretty good. Here you can see where the L bracket snapped off right on one of the holes. At the time, this was maybe a $5 to $10 cost on top of the extensions. So, let's just use a thicker L bracket this time. Already bent it into shape as you can see here. We'll need to trim it down in order to fit the right size. I hacked it down with a hacksaw and filed it off. Just to remove any sharp edges. With a bracket the right size, we can go ahead and attach everything back together. Then the stick and extension to the bracket. And then we can reconnect the cables. With that done, it's now more solid than ever and ready to go back into service. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick video, sort of a recap on the angle adapter and just how long it ended up lasting in terms of the, the overall setup. Probably going to take another look at this again in terms of the new cockpit video that I'm working on, as well as when I end up getting the new CM3 base with the dry clutch. That's going to really complete the space sim setup. So look forward to that.